Hey Randy, how's it going man? Have you just been stood out here? Awkwardly? Creepily? Without a purpose? You, you strange, strange man. Why are you stood out here in the middle of nowhere? And what's that weird smirk on your face all about? Look, it doesn't matter. Myself and my robotic companion Guida are back. Hi again, Guida. How you doing today? For some more experiments. And judging by that smirk on your face, you seem pretty up for it as well. Well, that's excellent news because otherwise I'd have to perform these experiments on you without your permission. And I've got to say, Randy, from me to you, that is just not my style. Now let's go ahead and make some stepping stones out of mines. We are going to try see just how far we can launch Randy with these mines. Now, uh, previously you've seen my other stepping stone contraptions, but this is going to be totally different. Namely, because the way we use the stepping stones is going to be through, well, explosions. Randy here isn't going to be jumping from mine to mine. He is going to be blown from mine to mine, exploded from mine to mine, thrown and launched from mine to mine. So let's see if this actually works. We'll just go ahead and get a little bit of a run up here, Randy. Make sure we are all centered. And then we're going to charge directly at it. Here goes Randy. Let's see if he's able to be... Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's just the chain reaction. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Why didn't I see that coming? Here's something I haven't really used though, the dominoes. I haven't used the dominoes to make some kind of trap for Randy or one of Randy's relatives. So let's go ahead and see how exactly this works. So he goes idle there. If I force Randy to push this, that all knocks over. Oh! <laughs> He looks like he managed to withstand that. Can you actually put these guys on top of the dominoes? Oh my gosh, you can. Look at this. You can just drop these guys on top and uh, I guess we'll see what happens here. So if I... What? They all exploded. What the heck was that? Geronimo. Wow. So literally, as soon as I release this, they should... <laughs> They all just jump off. What the heck's that all about? I guess these guys would rather jump to their deaths rather than being knocked off from a height. Speaking of being knocked off from a height, I'm going to go ahead and put some dominoes up here on top of this ledge. And right on the end, we're going to have another one of Randy's ragdoll family members right here staring over the edge into this abyss. Then I'm going to make a glass platform right at the bottom to catch him. Well, yeah, Guido, I don't exactly want to say, you know, murdered brutally from the giant drop and then plunged through a bunch of glass. I'd rather say catch. I think that would persuade Randy to take part in this more. So as soon as I knock this first domino over, we are going to jump straight down and watch Randy's family member here. I'm not sure which one it is. Plunge down through the glass. Here we go. Drop that and let's have a look. So is he going to come falling down? Wait, what? He didn't even move. Maybe I didn't use enough force or something. Let's try this again. Bam. There we go. I did that super hard. Let's see if he goes. No. Is he still? Oh my gosh. Look at him. Wow. What a strong man. So it looks like our little domino mechanism isn't working because he has such a strong back. So let me see if I can just give him more, give him more of a nudge. No, it looks like he's, he's completely protected from here. What the heck? But this gives me a new idea. If I get rid of all these dominoes right here, do something like this, go ahead and put like a cannon down. If I drop this cannon right about, right about here and I use it, once I've managed to push this thing over, let me just do this. So if we do that, will this work as a kind of shield? Um, I guess I'll fire. Oh my gosh. It just bounces straight off him. He's not, oh, oh, there he goes. I think, I think we just managed to push him off. Um, oh my gosh, what? Look at this. <laughs> He's like hanging on for his life. As soon as I move this domino, he should go plummeting down, right? I can't even move the domino. Are you kidding me? There we go. And <laughs> down he goes. That's amazing. Who would have thought that dominoes are so tough? Let me go ahead and try this again. So we go ahead and do something like this. We push the domino. Oh, he's moved to the side slightly for some reason. So if I do this, we push this domino here. We should see this guy catch it in his arms. Um, oh, I didn't even push it hard enough. Come on, Randy. You've got to go to the gym more, bro. Let's try this again. There we go. 
Oh, look at that protection. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cannon back down here, and this one purely targets the ragdoll. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So this is gonna... Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at, look at this protection. He needs a shield there. Is this even... These are just jumping gently above his head. Let me try and nudge this again. There we go. Maybe I need to go ahead and control this uh, because these cubes don't seem to be getting anywhere near him. So let me turn around just like this. Aim carefully and start to fire. Uh, oh, not even I can hit him. There we go. Okay, that one kind of hit. I just need to... Gosh, I can't believe this thing is protecting him. That's unreal. You can see his head just slightly poking out. I wonder if there's any way if we just launch them as fast as we can, if we can knock this domino down. No way. Look at this. We've given this guy, like, armor of some kind. This seems hardly fair. Oh, oh, no. I think we got him now. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. If you're still over there. If he's still alive. And of course, sorry to Randy for making him kill another family member. But once again, he's got that smirk on his face. I'm not really sure what that's about. Jeez, Randy, I'm not sure about you, but all this science, all this hard work, all this experimentation, it makes a guy hungry. Are you hungry? Because I'm hungry. Guido, could you eat? Oh, good. That's fantastic. Well, I'll go ahead and make one of Mama Steve's best dishes, her best recipe ever. Ragdoll soup. And that's right, Randy, you are going to help me. We are going to go ahead and make a blender. This thing is going to be the best ragdoll food maker in all the land. I know, dude, there's a real, uh, there's a real, there's a lot of competition, right? So this thing is going to spin as fast as possible. I guess, actually, it'd be a better idea to use walls because that would maximize our, oh, maximize our space, but clearly not. Yeah, this thing is going to keep spinning and spinning until we get ragdoll soup. It's just really hard to know where to place a block because uh, you don't want to do it too close or this thing will get totally stuck. I think this is looking about right. So the frame of this thing is really coming together. It's looking pretty good, but we need a nice little spectator's lounge for Randy so he can watch his family members torn to shreds by the blender. Oh, and by the way, I'm totally going to make him eat it. What did you say? What did you say to me, little punk? All I said was, look, there's no need for threats. All I said was that you get to eat the remains of your family. There's nothing wrong with that. Certainly nothing that warrants a threat, in my opinion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab some glass here. So let's get some vertical glass. This is something we've not really used so far. And I guess we'll do it like here. And this is where uh, we are going to be seeing all our ragdoll soup be created. We are also going to make a staircase going up and up just so Randy can get an overhead view of his family members being torn to shreds if he wants. And of course, if you ever feel sorry for Randy, just remember that this guy, he deserves it. Um, this one time he looked at me funny, Guida? I don't know if you remember, he looked at me really funny and, uh, well, that deserves being forced to watch your family be ripped apart by a blender, in my opinion, anyway. So we are going to go ahead and get a flag spawner. This is going to spawn a bunch of ragdolls in who are going to plummet down into our, well, into our fan, into our blender. I'm also going to place down these ramp corners. I don't think they should get stuck on the fan, but basically they're just going to make sure that no one can escape. Isn't that right, Randy? Yay, no escape. In fact, I think we may only need two of those right at the front here. I think if we put them anywhere else, they'll get stuck on the fan. Let's go ahead and do our first test run here. Let's see if this, okay, so it's spinning. Here come the ragdolls and they just go in there and they're being, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the flag needs to be repositioned, but really, this is a good start, an excellent start to our ragdoll soup. All right, Guido, so this time I've placed a bunch more spawners in, and we are going to see these guys all go plummeting in. There's one, two, three, four, I I'd say at least 20 spawners right there. Each one spawns in, I think, six of Randy's family members, sir. Uh, you do the math. This is going to be a lot of ingredients for our ragdoll soup. Let's go as go ahead and see exactly what happens here. Oh my gosh, it's raining ragdoll. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. I'd eat that. I'd personally eat that. Randy, would you, would you eat that, bruh? Can you see them all in that? Look at them. It looks like the fan itself has stopped just purely because of, oh my gosh, look how slow it's going. 
purely because of the sheer amount of- Oh my gosh, they're gonna break out! The sheer amount of ragdolls in there, the fan has had to slow down. So we're going to need a way to clear out the rest of the ragdolls, and I think the best way to do that is with mines. Dismember. Oh, that's a good idea. So if I put these guys like near the front here on the side, we should be able to clear out these uh these ragdolls here in enough time to make sure that the rest of the ragdolls can fit in as well. Let's go ahead and try this again. Let's see if our new technique works. So it spins. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I see that coming? It didn't even clear them out. Look at all this delicious ragdoll soup though. Mmm. Just like a mama used to make. Well, everyone, thanks for volunteering once again. It's been an absolute pleasure. I will be back with a spoon to dig in. Randy, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want any of it? Oh my gosh. Dude, okay. All right, geez. I'm just, I'm just looking out for you. You look a little bit thin. You look like you can use some grub. And I'm just saying, there's some food right here. I mean, even though it is your family members chewed up and ripped apart into tiny, tiny little pieces, when it comes to food, man, you've got to do what you've got to do.